ahead of myself <laughs> and didn't turn the camera on before I put my liquid in my pot. But what I got in here is uh, I got a cup of water and a half a cup of milk. <clears throat> and I also have one tablespoon of honey. But I'm going to put in two tablespoons of honey. I just didn't want to have to uh, stand there and mess with it because you know how slow honey is. But I'm going to put uh, about two tablespoons of a stick of butter in here with my milk and water. And then my honey. And my honey, it always sets up and crystallizes. So I have to warm it up a little, get it going. But that's how you tell if you've got real unfiltered raw honey is it will crystallize on you. You just put it in some warm water and it'll liquefy itself again. This one's really not been sitting in warm water long enough to, but we can get enough of it out to, to make our hot rolls. Like I said, I've already got one tablespoon in there. <clears throat> and I'm going to put another one. Y'all, I don't know about anybody else, but me and Mr. Brown have been getting hoarse. Uh, started about three days ago. <clears throat> I don't know if it's the change of weather or what it is. Okay, I'm going to put this other tablespoon of honey in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the put this on the stove and we're going to warm it. I'm going to warm it just long enough to melt my butter. But I don't want it to come to a boil. So let me get this on the stove and warm my milk up. Okay, we have got our liquids warmed up just to the point of the butter melting. And then we took it off the stove. You don't want it to come to a really hot boil. And uh, I kind of let it cool down because I felt like it was still just a little bit too warm to put my yeast in. So there's one cup of water, a half a cup of milk, two tablespoons of honey, and, uh, no, yeah, two tablespoons of honey. Da -da 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 -da. And two tablespoons of butter. I almost forgot how much butter I had in there, but anyways, it's all warm. I warmed it on the stove, the butter's melted, so it's time to put the yeast in. So if you touch, if you feel the, the heat on your milk and, it, and it's still too hot, don't put your yeast in there yet because it'll kill your yeast. Between uh, 95 and 110. And I broke my thermometer and I haven't bought me a new one yet. And just kind of stir your yeast in there. And then I'm just going to let this sit. And most recipes says just let it sit about five minutes. I let mine sit a little bit longer. Sometimes I'll let it sit plumb up to 15 minutes. And let it really foam up and, and proof really good. Sometimes it'll do it. Sometimes it won't. But I'm going to let mine today sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. So we'll be back. Y'all see how foamy that yeast is. And uh, I got busy doing a little bit of laundry. And it's been sitting here about 15 minutes, so it looks really good to me. You can see it bubbling. It's a, it's a doing its thing. It's proofing. Okay. This is so easy to put together. What I've got here is three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And I'm going to put all of the three and a half cups in my bowl with my liquid and my yeast. Now, <clears throat> the recipe calls for four cups of all-purpose flour. And some people say, can you use uh, bread flour? Um, you can, but this recipe does very well with just all-purpose flour. And that's usually what most people have on hand. You can use um, all-purpose flour or bread flour and use um, about a fourth of a cup of uh, whole wheat flour. 
If you use any more than that, it'll make your your uh, rolls really dense. So just be careful with that. So that's three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And I need a teaspoon of uh, salt. I'm going to use my pink Himalayan salt. And I'm going to start mixing this. Now, the recipe calls for four cups. Don't put in that last cup. Put in three and a half. I thought I got a phone call. What you're going to do with this other half of flour is after it's mixed and it still needs just a little bit more flour in it, then you'll just add a little bit at a time, but you don't want to add the full four cups. So I'm going to turn this on and we're just going to start mixing. And it's going to be a little bit of a shaggy dough. This is going to come together really, really fast. What I'm going to do is stop it and I'm going to push some of my flour down. Put it down in there and turn it back on. And you can see that it's it's mixing good and it's already trying to pull away from the bowl. But on the very bottom you can see it's still sticky at the bottom. It's still sticking to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about another, whoops, another fourth a cup. Turn it back on. Woo, flour going everywhere. I am a very messy cook. That's for sure. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. And see if it's going to, if all the dough is going to pull away from the bowl yet. And it still looks to me like it's still sticky. It's not wanting to all pull away from the bowl. So we're going to add just a little bit more. And we'll turn it on, mix it just a little bit more. Because what you want is you want that dough to all come together on your dough hook and pull all your dough come, come together. You have to be careful not to put too much flour, just put a little bit at a time. Put just a little bit more. This ought to do it. So I'm going to let it mix for just a little bit until it pulls away from, completely pulls away from the bowl. We got it mixed up real good. It pulled away from the bowl and it's... I let it aid on the dough hook for, I don't know, a couple minutes, not very long. I'm going to put me just a little bit of olive oil. Not very much, just enough to keep it from sticking. I'm just going to kind of work it around. Then I'm going to put a warm, wet, damp, not wet, but damp towel over it. And I'm going to find me a warm place to put it. And I'm going to proof it for just uh, probably about 20 minutes. You can put yours, turn the light on in your oven. That could be a warm place. I'm going to stick mine over here by my wood cook stove. It's pretty warm over there. So, let's get this started and get this dough prepping. I've got me a warm, damp towel. I'm going to put it over the top and uh, find me a, a warm place to put it.
and we'll be back. Okay guys, I'm gonna do a promo here. I'm gonna show y'all something that a friend of mine made and sent me just not too long ago. And I, I absolutely love this thing, it's so handy. And I know you're looking at it and you think, wow, what a pretty scarf, and it is. But that's not actually what it is. And see how I've been using it, it's dirty today. But this down here is a dish towel, and it's on each side. And then the part around your neck is this real pretty material, and it's very easy to wash. Wash is good. But what this is, is when you're washing dishes, cooking, baking, or whatever, and you're constantly trying to find a rag, and I'm the world's worst to go from the sink to the stove with my hands soaking wet because I can't find my towel because I put my towel over there or it's hanging over here or something. But this is always around my neck. So when I get done, I go just like this and dry my hands. If I'm cooking and I get something sticking on my hands or something, I just go like this. My towel is always here. Now, isn't that the neatest idea? And this is so pretty. I love the yellow and the black. But she sent me some more this week. And uh, she has, she just can make all different colors, materials. This one's a rooster. It's got rooster material. It's got real pretty flowers on. I love this one, too. Then it's got the, the dish towel on each side. It's got the rooster on it. So that's all you do. You just, when you're busy, you just hang around your neck and them towels are there. If you got something hot, you can pick it up just like this. So is that not the neatest idea? Let's see. She's got one here for Thanksgiving. That's in really pretty colors too. The towels are beige. And the material is turkeys and pumpkins and uh, corn. Stuff, you know, Thanksgiving looking material. It's really neat. Let's see. This one is another pretty one. It's, it's the yellow on the bottom. And it's got the blue little pansy flowers, daisy flowers. So that's another pretty one. Look at this one. I love this one. This is bandana material. And on the bottom, look, it's got the white dish towel with the, the blue around, stripe around the bottom. So I, lo I love them all. I think I've got one for every day of the week now. Oh, this one's really pretty. Now, it's got the white dish towel, but look at the pretty material, the little pink flowers. And this one's got a, a burgundy red dish towel, kind of rusty color, and the pretty colors material she put with it. So, if y'all, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, this is the handiest thing to have in your kitchen. And she does sell these. Her name is Jenny McQueen. She's from California, and if y'all would like, she does make them to sell, so if y'all would like to purchase them for yourself or for gifts, these are going to be really good gifts. Um, I'll leave the information to get a hold of her and to purchase some of these, and like I said, she just makes them with all kinds of pretty material and dish, dish towels, and I'm sure, she, you know, if you are got some way that you want a, a, a certain dish towel or material, I hope she'll probably find it and make it for you. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to put this one on that already got dirty and go back to making hot rolls. So make sure you look down the, the description box for uh, Jenny McQueen's information. Okay, it's been rising for 20 minutes, and it rose pretty good in that 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to softly punch it down, just like that, fingertips. I don't want to get rough with it and just get all my aggressions out there. And I'm going to pull it away from the bow. I think I'm going to put... A little bit of butter on my hands. I'm going to take my rings off because I'll get in trouble by somebody for leaving my rings on. 
I don't never ever hardly ever take my wedding rings off. This little wedding ring, I want y'all to look how tiny, it may not look that tiny on camera. This was my first wedding band, and I was so little. This is like a size 6, I think, and now I wear like a size 9, but I wear it on my pinky. My first wedding band. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, I'm going to put a little bit. My hands are clean, I promise. I'm putting me a little bit of butter on here. And I'm using a disposable pan for most of my rolls because these rolls, like I said, are going to the preacher. And I want it to be in something that he can just throw away or something. I don't want to have to worry about getting my pan back to me. So what I'm going to do, and y'all seen me do this before, is I'm just going to pinch my rolls. Um, I'm not sure how many I can get in here. We'll see. I think I'm going to do three across this way and then see if I can get six. I may only get five this way. We'll see. You know, when I was uh, working in the cafeteria at school, we made hot rolls twice a week like this. And, uh, of course, this is not my lunch lady uh, roll recipe. This is just a quick, easy roll recipe. So it looks like I'm going to get five. Um, and we would pinch them rolls on them big shit pans. And I'm trying to think. Oh, I'm thinking we got nine across the width and 12 across the length. That may be wrong. I can't remember now. And that way we know how many to put on there and how many we had on each pan. And uh, back then, the high schoolers and the teachers got two hot rolls apiece. So that means we made a lot of hot rolls. The elementary little kids got one. I loved uh, when I was on baking because I loved to do the baking. Because back then we had homemade cakes, cookies, cobblers, um, apple crisp. Because we would get a bunch of commodity fruit and stuff. So we were always having cobblers or, or crisp, stuff like that. And we, we made brownies. We just made a lot of stuff. Okay, I've got a little bit of dough left. So I'm going to put, just make a few... I might save a few back for me and Danny to have for supper. So I'm just going to put them in my little pan here. And this will be just enough for me and him. I don't think the preacher will mind sharing. <laughs> I don't figure he's going to say a word. So that last one's kind of sticky, but I'm going to get it on there. So I'm going to dampen my rag again with warm wet. That's hard to say. Warm, wet water. Just dampen it. I'm going to put these back over here uh, in my warmer on my wood cook stove. And um, I'm going to let them rise one more time for about 20 minutes. We're going to stick them in the oven, a 400 degree oven. And uh, I'll put a little bit of uh, melted butter on them probably when they come out. But... If you're not videoing this, you can get these rolls done in an hour. But because I had to video, it does seem like it takes longer. So anyways, let me get these covered up and proof one more time for 20 minutes. Hey, we got <clears throat> we got the rolls. Um, got them over here and they've proofed again for another 20 minutes. And they proofed really good. And I've got some melted butter right here. I don't want to slather them too much, but I am going to brush some melted butter on top. My oven is preheated to 400. Now, I know before I told y'all, y'all could probably make these in an hour. Um, besides me, you know, taking on or filming it, I tend to do things <laughs> I don't mind very good, put it that way. If a recipe says proof your yeast for five minutes, I proof it for 15 because I like it to be good and foamy and really doing its thing. 
emphasis to let your dough rise for 15 minutes. I'm going to do it for 20 minutes. I mean, so it would take me uh, an hour, a little over an hour to get these done. But that's not too bad to have good, buttery, homemade hot rolls on the table. So, once I get these buttered, I'm going to put them in my oven. These four right here are my Danny's. <laughs> but I'm going to get them in the oven. And uh, I'm going to put this on a cookie sheet because it's kind of flimsy. And we're going to cook them for about 20 minutes. And I'm going to check them. And the reason I say that... Um, my oven varies from everybody else's. So check them after 15. Some ovens you may have to go upon 30 minutes. It's just, it varies so much. But I'm going to check mine after, whoops, I forgot my rolls. I'm going to check mine after 15 minutes. And I'm going to say they're probably going to need another five minutes. And then we'll probably brush them again with the a little more butter and you can also put you a little bit of honey in there with that butter and uh, spread it on your hot rolls when they come out guys it's been about 15 minutes and uh, I think that's all it's going to take now it could take longer your oven so y'all be sure to check it I know when I done the pumpkin pie a lot of them said that it took a lot longer for their pumpkin pie to get done than it did in my oven. So that goes to show you how much ovens vary. I want to check the bottom. The bottoms are real good brown. They feel real light. And they sound done. So, I'm going to scooch the preacher's rolls over my oven off. I'm going to bring mine over here. And like I said, you can put you a little bit of honey in here, but I'm not wanting more honey, so I'm just going to put me some good old butter slathered on top. I like to do it while it's still getting hot. Put some on here. Oh, my ice maker decided it's going to do its thing right in the middle of filming. That thing's crazy. But it makes a lot of ice, so. Ooh, them look so good, and they smell so good in here. Okay. So, let's taste one. I hope y'all can see me. I never know till I see the video. And these are still hot. So hot. Now, Mr. Brown's cutting wood. So, Miss Brown gets to be the taste tester. That's a real light roll. And it's so hot, I'm going to have to cut it with my fork. I want to just bite into it, but I can't. Now this, we didn't put no sugar in this. It's got honey in it. So if you want it, your rolls to be a little bit sweeter, you can either put a little, you know, a bit of sugar in it, maybe a couple of tablespoons, a tablespoon, whatever. And um, I do have a hot roll recipe for your Hawaiian rolls, which are a real sweet roll. And that's got pineapple juice in it. And that's what sweetens your, your roll. But, it's so good. Just like Grandma used to make. Even the honey really didn't make it that sweet. So like I said, you can add a little bit of sugar to it if you like it sweeter. But he's going to be eating this with spaghetti and uh, salad. So he really don't need a sweet roll with it. But them are delicious. And you see how fast they come together. So, 
Besides my lunch lady hot rolls, these are one of my favorites. And you can make cinnamon rolls out of these too. So, double whammy there. I hope y'all like this video. <laughs> I know I've got so many videos back to back and I've had to kind of switch them around. Um, I don't like putting one every day. I don't, one reason I don't have that many, I don't think I'd stay caught up. If I wasn't working a full-time job, I probably could. But, you know, it's a lot of work, too, uh, trying to put out a decent video. So, you, you know, you got to have everything together and, and do it. But believe me, I enjoy it. And I had a, somebody asked me if I would make a special recipe for them. And it's just, it's a very old recipe that they done back in the days when food was rationed, uh, when you, you know, you didn't have fresh meat and all this stuff available. So it's a very old fashioned, uh, stick to your ribs recipe. Um, I told her I'd do it and I'm gonna do it. And I think y'all are gonna like it. I love to do recipes that's got a history with it. So it's got a good story with it and uh, she remembers as a young child eating this. So Miss Lori's gonna stick to her word and, and do the recipe. So anyways, that'll be my next one. And then next week, um, I'm gonna do another pie for the collaboration. So, things are rolling. And uh, I'm gonna be cooking my biscuits in the wood cook stove. I think I just gave it away. <laughs> but I didn't want y'all saying, hey, when are you gonna cook in that wood cook stove? Anyways, I will be cooking in it, so. Y'all stick around, make you some hot rolls, cause these are delicious. And they're light and fluffy, and they're so hot. They're good. So we'll see you next time. God bless everybody. I love y'all. And uh, don't forget Jenny McQueen. I'll put her down below. And we'll see y'all later.